Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Wednesday to everybody. So today I'm super excited. I got some more dies from Scrap Diva Designs. Erica had sent these to me and I'm so excited because they are so adorable. She kind of gave me a preview already on these dies and she does have some, if not most of them in um, her store right now. I'm pretty sure she has a majority of this. So, um, and there's some other ones coming soon. So um, stay tuned for that. Anyway, this is so adorable. I'm just going to go ahead and jump in because I was trying to do this yesterday, but my allergies were acting up and then I had to take Benadryl and I got sleepy and I couldn't do this video. <laughs> so anyway, um, I did uh, create a couple of um, examples for you guys, but not for this one. I will show you which ones. Okay, at the end. All right, so this one here is so adorable. Isn't this just so cute? You can tell that it is in an Easter box. So this one is called Easter Treat Box. It creates those triangular boxes. So you would have to cut this four times and then put all the sides um, together using these flaps here. You just attach them. And you could also even create a window here, I believe. Um, using this die, I think. If you put this die in the middle, it will cut that middle part for you. And then as you can see, you have a little design here. Look at the little feet <laughs> or the little paw prints from the bunny. And then you have um, the bigger paw print that you can add over here, I guess. So you can um, create some little bunny feet um, along with the, you know, just beneath the head and the um the ears but it's so cute it's so adorable so can't wait to play with that this one i've been wanting she has this in three different sizes now she she sent me one and i want to say i think this is the medium size one um, because she does have small medium and large so uh check it out and um the large one is is a pretty good size now this one i want to say is only about three inches i think uh, let's see it's three inches across where you fold it so yeah three inches across and then the actual pillow box itself going up is also about three inches and then you have the handle which gives you about five and almost close to five and a quarter but that's how um that's how tall it is with the handle and she has a tutorial on how to put this together but you know it it looks like it's it's pretty easy i think um you cut this um base part out twice and then um to put the the little flap over the other one you would have to just cut one of the flaps off so that um you only get one flap that will cover the front if that makes sense. And then what I love about it is, look at the little zippered um, um, pulls. You have a heart-shaped one, you have this um, regular-shaped one, but then you also have these. Look how cute! It's so adorable. So I may have to get the other sizes. <laughs> um, so anyway, she sent me that one, so I can't wait to play with that one. Oops, I'm going this way. Oh my gosh, this one, I just about died when I saw her example. Um, it's so cute. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> uh, I thought it was some kind of basket, but you guys, it is a gumball machine, an Easter gumball machine. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this? So um, there's all the little pieces, and I love this piece right here because I think you can use this uh, separately too. Like you can put this on a tag. So you have little bunny ears on your tag. Wouldn't that be cute to just add? But anyway, this would be at the top, of course. And then you have all these little pieces here. Carrots, these are all the decorative pieces that you can put um, inside your gumball machine. And this is the bottom, so it's upside down. It looks like that. That's the bottom. And then um, this is the top. And of course you can make it into a shaker. You know, you can, that would be like the glass part of the gumball machine. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I can't wait to play with this. Here's another one that 
I absolutely had to have two. Um, this one is called the Retro Telephone. And um, it's so cute and it's a good size. Uh, let's see. Width wise, it's about four and three quarters, maybe a little bit over three quarters. And then um, approximately four and maybe f five eighths tall. And what I love about it is I love this curly, um, the cord of the phone, but it has hearts on this one. So you have an option of using just the plain one or the ones with the little hearts. It's so cute. And then you can make the dial. Um, um, you can use a brad and so this part can move. So do you guys remember the old phones with the dial, you know, where you have to, <laughs> it's, it's fun. I love it. So Anyway, there is the, this one's the base piece, and then I think this is the layering piece. Is that, is that right? Let me see. One of them makes a frame, so I'm assuming it's this one. Oh, I'm sorry, no. This one doesn't make a frame. I know what it is. This is these are layering pieces. Um, this one here is the one, and I want to say they're the same size, so I super, I hope they are. Um, let me see. Now this one here is a shaker and I think you can use it together. It's retro phone shaker. That's what this one's called. And they look like they're the same size, you guys. So I don't remember if Erica said you can use these together or not. Let me see if I can at least pop this one out and show you. I think you can look. Yeah, it fits on there. So you can use this one as a shaker. Although, I don't know, does it cut right here? Here it is. Oh, sorry, it was on the other side. Okay, so this one is the frame right here. I know it didn't look right. This is the frame and then this is the back. And yes, they do. It looks like they do layer on top of each other if you wanted to. Anyway, this is another fun one. I can't wait to play with it. Um, so um, that will be coming up. I will show you some examples as soon as I put this together. And um, like I said, I just got this yesterday, you guys. So give me a little bit of time to um, play with it. All right. And then this is the one that I did play with. Now this one is called the Double Loop Bow Set. And I don't believe she sells this individually. I believe you buy the whole set, which is adorable. And you have to get the whole set because you have the different sizes, small, medium, and large. And um, this creates the bow. And then this, this is the tails on the bottom and then the belt that you put around it to keep it together. So this one is so adorable. You guys, look, here's the large. Is this not so cute? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I love it. And um, it's better to use double-sided paper if you can, because you will see the inside part because of, you know, the, um, the, pat the holes that it creates right here. So you'll see the pattern underneath. But um, if you don't want that and you just want it plain, then you can use the reverse side of it because um, it doesn't have the holes on the reverse side. So it's up to you. You have that option. So that's the large one. Um, here's the medium one. And um, the papers uh, I was using for this is uh, it's an, an older Echo Park paper that I believe it's called Dots and Stripes but it's so cute. And then I just paired it with um, some glitter cardstock from my stash. I just tried to find the exact color. It's not exact, but isn't that adorable? So this is the medium. And then here's the, the baby one, the tiny small one. It's so cute. So let me give you dimensions here. So across, this one is about two and a quarter inch, I think. Let's see, two and a quarter inch. This one here, I wanna say is like three inches, maybe three and one eighths inch across. And then 
the big one is um, almost four inches. I think it's, yeah, it's four, three and seven eighths inch. So it's almost four inches across. Aren't they darling? Oh my gosh, I couldn't wait to play with this one. And um, this was the only one I got a chance to, well, this one and, and this next one. So cute. And then this one here is called the um, Easter Bunny Bag Topper. And you get a set also because you get the larger set here and then the smaller set. So as you can see, this is the, the part that you fold. This is the topper. And then you would decorate the little bunny feet with the paw prints there. I love that. And the same thing here. And you also get a sentiment that says Happy Easter on it. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. I had to put this one together. And I used one of the uh, bows that I made. And look. Look how cute. I love it. Look at the bunny feet. It's, it's so adorable. So um, you can have your own little topper. And I went ahead and just put the Happy Easter there. I didn't use the shadow piece, but you can. Obviously, I did cut it, but I ended up not using it because... Um, I put this big bow here. Well, this is the medium sized bow. And um, there wasn't that much space for me to put the Happy Easter, but I really, really wanted it there. So I went ahead and just put it over one of the paws here. But, um, you know, I didn't want to cover up the paws. So I thought, I think it's better if I just leave out the shadow piece because you can still see the paws underneath so I think it came out so adorable I love it and this one is a doodle bug paper here that I used and this is again the dots and stripes from um, Echo I think it's Echo Park so um, but anyway it's a topper so you would just you know take your um, let's say these set of stickers right here see perfect and I believe this is about four inches I think four and a quarter inch wait um across it's four and a quarter one two three no four and three eighths inch across and that's the longest point the longest um measurement okay but yeah i love it it's so cute and um, in case you're wondering how tall it is it's about three inches close to three inches so that is um, the new set of dice from um, Scrap Diva Designs. Go ahead and check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box again um, of her store and all the products that I showed you here today. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more um, projects from me and have a great day. Bye.